And, uh, I, should we call this a closet? Yes. Yes. And when did you come out of the closet? I came out when I was 18, when I started college and wasn't around my family anymore. You felt an obligation to your family to continue the, shall we call it a lie? Well, I think at first we were taught to pass, and I also did feel an obligation. And also, when it first came out, I know when I was told, I just thought I was adopted. I didn't like it very much. I didn't like being black or being told that I was black. And then, and then when you became 18, you said, why don't I like this? This is what racism is all about. Is that pretty much... Yeah, when I went to college, I decided that that's what I was, was black, and I was going to see... Well, I kind of thought I was black and white, so I was going to see the other side. And did you wear uh, an afro and the shiki, or how, how did this blackness, this newfound interest in, uh, in being who you were, express itself? Well, first I tried to be political. I tried to join the Black Student Union. I could not. The blacks would not let me join. So the only way I first came out as black is by dating black men. That's where I first started getting the culture and mm -hmm. learning about it. Uh, share with me just the, uh, the pressure here. Um, being black means a certain signature, a visible persona. And did you think you didn't have it? No, to, to us it, it wasn't like that. Passing isn't like that. Passing is when you're taught that if you expose a secret, you could end up dead.